What's up, minions? Episode 26 of my vlog and day 8 of the SSSVEDA. I don't know. I wanted a hand sign, but you know, gang sign type thing, but I couldn't think of anything. But SSSVEDA, day 8. And you're getting this on time, so you're well. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching. So, let's start at the beginning. The threshold. My threshold for JasonOpsLLC.com is you're either logged in or you're not. The idea is that I want my communication to be direct between me and my customer. It's not enough to get attention. You have to be able to keep that attention long term, especially for it to be increased value for your business as a business home. Your open line of communication is direct. And this includes your customer conversation. Local restaurant, somebody stops in, you give them a great meal. Does the conversation end there? Or is it an ongoing thing? You have given them an incentive to create an account with your website, your domain name. Then you can carry on a conversation with them over time and remind them of the great experience, the great food. If you don't establish that conversation, then you're still, you're dealing with them indirectly going forward. Just like you were dealing with them indirectly before they showed up the first time. When they're strangers, you don't know them, they don't know you. That's very indirect communication. You're going to have to you know, rent access to their eyeballs, so to speak, through ads or whatever. And it's not that you don't want to gain attention and that you shouldn't spend your, a lot of your ad budget on you know, getting additional attention. The key is that it's all focused back on it's a long-term conversation that you're building with your customers, right? You don't want to just have a you know talk with them once and then they never come back or maybe they remember and show up six months later. That's not the best business practice, right? The idea is that you establish that communication through your website and you do it to where it's as simple as possible for that customer so that when they are thinking about you, you're ready. You have on-demand videos that they can access on their schedule when they want. And it just makes it that much easier, when, especially when it's combined with attentiveness as far as socially. So if they say something to your brand or they mention your brand, you want to engage them and close out that conversation, so to speak. Even if it's a, you know, a, a fist bump emoji, end of the day, you want to acknowledge them. So we're going to address four videos, okay? Number one is the homepage video. Number two is the sign up page video. Number three is the work with me video. And number four is the get started video.